targets heading west in Gravesend. Enemy target confirmed. Please deploy Thug and Striker. Please pursue. Please pursue. Possible bogeys coming out. Today uh, we're at the Bauer Lab to. Uh, do a series of uh, demos. Adam Smith is managing director of R&D company Intrepid Mines. They're one of the first companies to visit the Army's all-new battle lab. They've had an idea that could effectively upcycle hundreds of redundant armoured vehicles from previous conflicts. The armoured vehicles that came back from uh, Iraq and Afghanistan are currently sitting on an army base. We always go past just lines of armoured cars. But to have those things sitting there and for us to know that we could be doing something about it. Their thought is to turn these extinct vehicles into platforms from which to deploy a plethora of different unmanned drones, a kind of Swiss army knife inside a Trojan horse. The old vehicle would become like a mothership, delivering the assets to the area needed and charging them when required. Today, they're demonstrating how it might work using ordinary vehicles. A team of bad guys, red team, um, are in a transit van. Um, they're going to be making their way onto the field. Um, that is going to be very closely followed by a team of good guys, a uh, green team, um, in a 4x4. Um, onto the field, the bad guys are going to get out of the transit van and rush into the hedgerow. Um, the green team are then going to deploy uh, the quadcopter so that we've got um, an aerial view of what's happening um, and a, a, a ground drone uh, so that we've got um, on the ground uh, perspectives of where they've gone and, and, and that type of thing. Once we've got those uh, that information, that's going to be relayed back to the battle lab. They're then going to make a decision as to where the good guys are going to be positioned in order to set the trap. We're then going to initiate that with the aerial drone and the ground drone flushing the bad guys out. They're going to come out of uh, one side and then they're, they're going to be captured by, by the good guys. The idea of the Army's new battle lab is that companies like this from any sector or even individuals potentially with no connection to defence can meet with the services, talk, collaborate, test out ideas and potentially solve some of the military's biggest problems. It's the brainchild of 17-year reservist Major Ed Ebburn. We went from thinking about the problems that we had as a military uh, and more to the problems that industry was having accessing us and particularly the small to medium enterprises who may have no background within defence whatsoever. Intrepid Mines are looking in fields that we're interested in, so primarily autonomy and really being able to take some of our uh, a step back uh, for our war fighters so that they can deploy this technology first in advance um, to assess an area to make better informed decisions before they choose to deploy human beings or further technology. But to demonstrate that rather than having to build from the ground up an exquisite, very expensive, very lengthy time frame platform and just utilising the assets we have. The same idea could of course be deployed in the case of natural disasters or any situation where service personnel's lives are put at risk. So we've got a number of people who are part of the company who are either ex-forces, married into the forces or whatever it is. And frankly, you know, Part of what we're trying to do this for is because we want those people to come home, right? We're doing all of this just so that we can prove that there's other options that the Army or you know, the, the services in general could go and explore. The Army Battle Lab is still partly under construction. When complete, any company or individual will be able to easily book online to work, collaborate, experiment or demo potential new innovations. The ideas, it seems, are already flying. Hannah King, Forces News, at the Army Battle Lab in Dorset. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.